Hello, welcome to Friday's Up to Speed Live. I'm Diana Alvear. We got so excited to show you those posts right there because it's Happy Employee Appreciation Day. Let's see those posts again one more time. We are celebrating employees out there who are working really, really hard. We're showing some extra gratitude to our V team. And you can see right there that there's so much love going on right now. And we're hoping that you are a part of it. All you have to do is let the people in your life know that you work with and that, uh, who work for you, how much you are appreciative of their hard work and their efforts to support the team. And speaking of appreciation, we also wanted to highlight some recent exceptional technicians that have been going above and beyond while serving our customers. So perfectly appropriate for today. Let's look at some notes of appreciation for V-teamers. And we're going to start with David Jones. He's a cable splicing technician in Rockville, Maryland. And Someone writes to tell us, David was the best technician I have ever had. He explained everything to me, and I am not very tech savvy. He made sure TVs and Alexa were working with a new password. I think David should get a raise, a promotion. He was the best. So, David, someone out there really loves you. You did a really great job, and we're so proud of you. All right, let's take a look at Ms. Quashella Morrison. This lady here, this sassy lady in braids, I love this picture of you, Quashella, is a technician in Englewood, New Jersey. And someone wrote in about her, she was awesome, solved problems quickly and with a positive attitude, best technician I've worked with and I've moved six times in 10 years. So whatever you did, Quashella, was magic. And finally, we wanna also note Trevor Farmer, a customer just posted this tweet about her amazing experience. And when I say just, I mean that this was added to the show like an hour beforehand. She noted that she could not have been more impressed with Trevor, and we want to take time to thank Jane for reaching out to us and also tagging Ronan Dunn in there. Smart move, because we do want to get the good news about Trevor Farmer out there. So our thanks to David, Trevor, and Quishella. So great to recognize their hard work on Employee Appreciation Day. So let's pivot now to Your Voice Matters. As many of you know, this is a feedback program that compiles employee insights while we improve the overall customer experience. So Wave 9 just started with 184 new participants spanning retail, indirect, telesales, and customer service. And some of the program's most recent wins include our work with the go-to-market team on the design and launch of Discover Daily. Really great stuff, very impressive, and we're so happy that we're doing this today. Okay. So as usual, we have some business use for you today. They're always doing awesome things and giving us awesome wins. So, all right, hard to believe, but the Super Bowl was a month ago. Yeah, and it's March, which I keep writing February down, and then I think to myself, no, Diane, it's, it's March. It's really just flying by this year. However, we are still making news thanks to that Super Bowl. So Verizon was there for our customers, especially those that got to go to the Super Bowl. Get this. They got to enjoy the first 5G and mobile edge computing enabled mobile game in stadium this year. We teamed up with the NFL and AWS to debut NFL Ultra Toss for fans with the NFL ticket holder app. So they would get a push notification during the second quarter and competed using their smartphones to toss a football into the back of a pickup truck positioned in the middle of the field. All of this happening virtually. So gameplay was offloaded to the edge of Verizon's 5G network, reducing latency and allowing for that impressive, massive multiplayer experience in stadium. So obviously we're breaking the mold as usual. Can't wait to see what we have up our sleeves next year. All right, so a quick trivia question for all of you out there. What Verizon leader took on their new role in December as channel chief and Hello, already making news as one of CRN's top channel chiefs of 2021. They have been with the company for more than 20 years, huge fan of LA Law, amazing cook, and grew up in the Bronx. So it could only be the one and only Wendy Tassetta. Yes, Wendy Tassetta, I love her. She recently sat down to talk about her new role <clears throat> the emphasis on making it easy for our customers to do business with us, and how she creates joy. It is a fabulous conversation. You're going to want to check out the full interview that is linked in today's story. And by the way, on a personal note, I just adore Wendy. She spoke at one of my, uh, something that I put together, and I was taking notes because she kept dropping truth bomb after truth bomb after truth bomb. And I'm like, Wendy, slow down. Stop throwing so much knowledge at us. It was amazing. So I love Wendy. One of the best follows on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, if you've missed us, missed watching Up to Speed on Twitter, well, we're back. We're coming back live on March 11th. But before we do, we're going to teach you how to Twitter. Tweet. 
Tweet! Tweet! Hey Jess, uh, what you doing? Hey Andy, well, a little birdie told me that Up to Speed Live is going back on Twitter, so I'm getting used to tweeting. Wait, but that's not... So Jess does have one thing right. Next Thursday, March 11th, we are back on Twitter, 12 p.m. Eastern, for a special Up to Speed Live with Hans and Kyle. Now, the quiet period for the C-Band auction will be over, so we're back on Twitter, and that means V-Teamers can once again interact with live comments and even start uh, sending those bubbly hearts again. I do love those hearts rising up on the screen. Oh, well, that's cool. So for those maybe new to Twitter, it's a social platform for live events. That and much more. Now, I love using it to share the latest news from Verizon, keep up with tech influencers and current trends, not to mention follow celebrities and athletes like Jess, you could follow at Aaron Rodgers 12 on Twitter. <laughs> well, I already follow him in real life, but I park way far from his house. Okay, I suggest you stop doing that and start using Twitter. But I don't even know what a tweet is. So a tweet is a message of 280 characters or less. If you haven't signed up for Twitter just yet, once you do, you'll see a feather icon on the bottom right of your home page. Just click on it, write out your short post, and hit tweet. It's as simple as that. All right, well, that sounds easy. Now, you can make tweets more noticeable by using hashtags, dropping the at symbol to mention other users. Don't forget to use those emojis. And you can engage with other tweets by following other accounts, liking tweets by clicking the heart symbol, retweeting if you want your followers to see that tweet, or even replying with your own comment. OK, I'll work my way up to that. Sorry, the point is, sign up for Twitter. Don't forget to follow me, at Dude, it's Andy Choi. Follow up to speed, of course. Follow our brand handle, all of our V-teamers, and of course, all of our executives like Hans, Christy, Tammy, Ronan, Guru, to see what they're tweeting and share in all of the excitement. And when you do tweet about Verizon-related news, make sure you share those tweets using the hashtag IamVZ to spread the word with fellow V-teamers. That's very cool. Thank you, Andy. No problem, Jess. Hey, by the way, uh, you don't really follow Aaron Rodgers around, do you? Mm, define follow. Oh boy, you know, I don't wanna know. I mean, he never sees me. Bye, Jess. <laughs> I love Andy and Jess, they are the best. And by the way, Andy, very well played there in your plea for more followers. I'm gonna wanna know how many you added after this episode of Up to Speed. Now, I happen to be on Twitter as well. And one of my favorite follows, I really love to follow the leaders at Verizon. They're always tweeting about their priorities and the things that are important to them. I love seeing Hans taking his walks and, and you know, I've seen Ronan hiking. It's really good stuff. And of course, I follow my favorite Argentino, Diego. And that leads me to my next topic. I was super excited to host the premiere episode of Marketing Unfiltered. It's a new podcast series that focuses on all things brand and marketing and really kind of like peeling back the layers and seeing like what went into these big branding decisions and, and you know, all sorts of really cool things like that. So this particular episode, it was Diego and his friend and former colleague, Leslie Berlin, who's now the CMO and head of people of Twitter. And you can imagine that this was just a fantastic, substantive conversation. I mean, we were talking about everything from how you get inspired, who inspires you, who do we need to be taking a look at, to like what books did they had on their nightstand. And even, you know, Leslie went into controversial presidential tweeting and things that they had to deal with. I mean, 2020 was a big year for Twitter, so it's really worth a listen. You can find all of the details on the web. Uh, again, I, I loved hosting. It was so fantastic, and I would appreciate it if you guys took a listen. Okay, before we go, I do want to point out that a very inspiring letter went out this morning from Tammy, Rima, and Christy, and it's all about International Women's Day and how we can all be a part of the theme this year, which is Choose to Challenge. So they also are baking some big news, by the way. They announced the Women's Collab. It's a new initiative to help women prepare and succeed with access to best in-class resources and content to empower women to own their careers. So the letter is also about how we can choose to challenge the status quo when it comes to women, especially when so many of us are suffering from pandemic-related struggles. There's a lot of women who lost their jobs. You know, the she session is in full swing. There have been related struggles on uh, in, in that arena. So these ladies are calling on us to do our part, and they're sending a special message. And I want to quote from the letter because I was really moved by it. They said, to all our V-team women out there, we see you, 
you are valued, you are enough, you are incredible, and we will move forward together. Okay, what a lovely note to send you guys out on. Speaking of International Women's Day, on Monday, I will be back and I'll be hosting an episode dedicated to all that we're doing at Verizon. Lots of cool events, super cool conversations with people that are the kind of people you really want to be hearing from. So I hope that you join me on Monday. We've got a very special episode for you. And uh, Tuesday, we've got some good stuff coming up as well. Before we go, we have some friends that are going to help us with the sign off. Okay. You know, you hear us say until next time you're up to speed. Well, we want to see your beautiful faces uh, being a part of up to speed. So all you have to do is send us your video to good at verizon.com and you never know, you might see yourself on up to speed live. All right. So I am Diana Alvear. Thank you so much for spending your Friday lunchtime with me or, or whatever time it is when you're watching. I want to thank all of you for hanging out with me and I want to challenge you. And all I want you to do is just to reach out to the women in your life right now who are empowering and uplifting and supporting you and let them know what a difference they make in your life. If you have employees, reach out and let them know how much they're appreciated. Spread the love, spread the joy. That's what we need more of in the world and you can make all the difference. So thanks again for joining me. Until next time, you're up to speed. Chris Schaefer here, sunny Santa Barbara, California where it's always a great day to fly drones with Verizon. Hey V-Team, I'm Alyssa Gimon from the Telesales Department. And I'm Matt Gimon from Learning and Development. We're here saying hi from the Nubble Lighthouse in snowy York Beach, Maine. This is Paco Haro and my South Tower Cactus friends out of Tucson, Arizona. This is Sarah Stacy from Anchorage, Alaska saying hello. Aloha. My name is Carl Kazuma. I'm Annalise Heiser. And I'm Jakey Dello. We're at Pu'ulaka State Park in Honolulu, Hawaii. Hey V-Team, this is Dello Bryan from Dublin wishing you well. Until next time. Until, Until next time. time. Until next time. You're up to speed.